What's Gucci everybody? Today I'm back and I want to talk about the Heap Sort. If you haven't seen my Heaps video, um, you need to watch it to get what the Heap Sort is. A way, the Heap Sort is a way to sort things when you basically have a heap and you want to figure out all the sorted elements. So a Heap Sort works like this. You're going to find the maximum element, which will, in a max heap, will always be since this is a max heap, it was a min heap, you would want to find the minimum element or the vice versa of whatever a max heap wants, you'd want a min heap to find. For, sorry, I'm just going to put indexes on these. And what you want to do is you want to find the maximum element, which will always be the zero, the root, and then you want to take that out. You want to and you want to take that out and you want to switch the root with the mo the most the um I guess the lowest node possible. So the node that's in the lowest row, in the bottommost row, all the way to the right as you can. So you want it so for instance, in that case this is two. And then you want to adjust the root. You want to adjust the root so that it again fits the rules of a heap. So let me show you an example here. I'll just draw this line for the sorted element. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to get rid of 16. And I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to put it in my array. Let's say I'm sorting. And then I'm going to flip it with 2. And now when I, when I put 2 up here, I'm going to switch 2 with the largest, with the largest child until it trickles down and fits forgot to put a root there until it fits the heap rules again so if it was a min heap I would flip it with the minimum element so 2 and 14 are going to get sw swapped because 14 is bigger than 2 and 14 is bigger than 10 and then I'm going to look 2 I'm going to look at 8 and 7 and I want to flip with the, the greatest element and let's see I have 8 here and I have 2 there and Again, I want to flip 2 with the greatest element if something is greater than 2. So 4 is greater than 2. So 4 and 2. My alarm is going off. And there you go. So now I preserve the heap and now I'm ready to do this again. So what I'm going to do is I... 2 again is the bottom rightmost element by sheer circumstance. That won't always happen as you see. And I'm going to flip them. So I'm going to put 14 here. And I'm going to put 2 back up here again. And as you can see, 2 is going to go a different way this time. Let me get rid of 2 at the bottom. And 2 is going to go with 10. <laughs> it is a great day here in Blacksburg. And as you can now I'm going to flip 2 with the greatest with the greater child again, which is 9. So 9 and 2. And now that we have that, now as you can see, we're going to perform this algorithm again because we're now the rules of the heap are still preserved. And I'm going to flip this with the bottom rightmost node, which is again, which is now over here. It's this one. And so I'm going to flip these. Well, I'm going to first, I'm going to take off 10 and make one the node. And as you see here, now I'm going to trickle down one with, swap it with the greater, with the greater child. So nine, one, and I'm going to flip this with one. And as you can see now, we're just going to do this again. I get 9. And I'm going to flip that with 2, as you can see. Do, 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 do. And 2 is going to trickle down, so 2 is going to swap with 8. 2, 2. And 2 is going to swap with 7. It's going to be beautiful. And now after that, I'm going to just do it again. So we got 8. Right there, and now I'm going to swap 8 with 1 because that's down there. And I'm going to trickle down 1 after getting rid of that node. So 3 does not have any childs at this point. And 7 and 1 are going to swap. And 2 and 1 are going to swap. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking too fast. 1 and 4 are going to swap. And now the heap property is preserved, so I'm going to do it again. I just want to make sure I go through a full example so everybody gets it. And now after doing that, I'm going to get rid of 7, replace it with the most negative node, which is the which is 2 again. 
and it's only been one and two, but it could be different in other examples. Um, so now I've got seven, so now I'm going to switch two with the largest node, which is four. I've got four, and I've got two, and as you can see, we're still okay there. So now I'm going to pop off four and switch it with one. And I'm going to put four here. And after doing that, I'm going to switch three with one. We're almost done here. As you can see, the tree gets smaller and smaller. And I do that, and now I pop off three and exchange that with one again. Well, yeah. I'll just write down three here in the second row so we know this is three. And now I'm going to switch one with two. And one with two goes like this. And I'm going to pop off two. Bring one to the root. One has nowhere to go, so it doesn't do that. And now I take off one. And now the heap is empty, so I stop. I always want to check if the heap is empty or if there are no left or right nodes. Because I don't want to check them or that could cause an error. And then I add one. And now the heap is gone. And so I have a sorted array starting going from ascending to descending order, going from maximum to minimum. Just something to mention about the big O of n, the big O efficiency of a heap sort, it's n log n, because it takes log n iterations to sort, to put an element in its proper place. Kind of like adding something to a binary tree, it's log n. But you're doing that operation n times, so you want to multiply it by n. So you just want to know that it has a big O of n log n, which isn't bad. Anything less than n squared is considered plausible. Okay, guys, that's about it for today. And I hope you remember how to do a max heap, a max heap, heap sort. Have a great day.